happening everybody welcome back this is four going so we're going to talk about the annihilator update now i have played this game guys every single day for the most part i might have missed a couple days but every game i play because i play so many i do miss a day now and again not very often for all my games right there's some times where i just get so busy uh and i'm just you know doing off something in my own personal uh life and i just completely you know can't do it or i forget about it or whatever right but for the most part like this game and all the games i play I play very religiously, and Marvel 2 tries a game I played ever since the beginning. So let's talk about the Annihilator update. So the first character I want to talk about is Quasar. Now this is a bio sub character, but you can actually get him through some tokens after seven days. So that's actually really awesome that they did that. They made a bio sub character, a character that you can actually get for free, and he's a pretty cool character, guys. And the thing that is, uh, you know, kind of nice about him is he does have a transcendent skill. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get it up there because I still got to work on his potential, right? But, I mean, yeah, male Quasar, uh, Wendell, Vaughn, right? He looks pretty sick, looks pretty cool, right? I really like the inside of his cape with all the stardust back there and the stars. That is sick, and they even move around when his cape's moving around. The detail, the attention to detail is nuts. It is so good. Right? And when you look at his skills, and, and this is something else about this update that's pretty awesome, is that most of these characters are very, very easy to play. There's not really, like, you can play with procs with a lot of them and things like that, which is awesome. So, I mean, you take a look at this area, there's that three, five, four, right? That is nice, right? That is nice. You know what? Let me turn that crap off. Let's take a look at these skills one at a time, right? You got the second skill, the one, nothing major. I mean, it's definitely Quasar action, right? And then you have the Awakened skill, right? But I just, I don't think this character is really, I mean, he might. Well, we had a little technical difficulties there. Sorry, guys, I had to skip past that a little bit. But he doesn't seem to be like he's going to be super, super relevant. Uh, when you look at his kit, I don't, I don't know because I don't have him leveled up. I could be completely wrong about that. And I hope I am wrong about that. But I'm going to dive more into him in another video. I'm really just kind of brushing over these characters a little bit until I do an actual review because I do plan on doing some reviews, guys. I do plan on getting back in the groove. But let's talk about Icon. Now, Icons is a character that everybody got completely for free. You guys can see that I'm working on uh, her potential. And this is actually awesome that we got Icon, that we got a new character that is free. And supposedly, she's quite strong. I don't have her fully leveled up, unfortunately, because of the potential, and I can't transcend her. So I don't really know how strong she is. I really can't test her or anything. But once I get her transcended, I'll probably test her out, see what's up. But when you look at her kit, and you look at her skills, they're pretty damn cool, right? And you see the rotation that they're going to give us here. They're using uh, three, four, five, right? Well, let's preview it. I hit reset there by accident. But three, four, five, and as you guys can see... Nice, nice, and you can actually easily proc her, which is awesome. That is sick, man. I'm really happy to see that. And you see they start with the six here, right? They start with the six. And as soon as old boy comes in, you can cancel, go into your skills, do the three, four, five combo, and boom. That is nice, and her skills look awesome. Like, really, really cool looking skills. Very happy to see that Icon is in the game. How relevant will Icon be? I mean, we'll see, guys. I mean, you know, uh, I don't believe she's really a support or anything like that. Uh, that supplies herself, and yeah, I, I don't know, all right? I, I don't know exactly how relevant she's actually going to be because she's just an awakened character. We all know where it's at in this game. It's all about tier fours, guys. That's kind of the thing about power creep. Don't get me wrong. Tier threes and awakened characters can be useful, uh, but yeah, tier four. And that's kind of why Beta Ray Bill and Gladiator, two tier fours right off the get-go that they're giving us. Uh, whether or not we get one in mid-month patch, I don't really know. But both of these characters, we'll start with Beta, well, actually, we'll start with Gladiator. I love the look of the uniform. This thing looks sick as hell. And Gladiator is quite strong, but you will find, guys, that he's not the number one in this update. Now, maybe when he's, you know, tier four, maybe it's a different story. But uh, there's another character that's a bit stronger than him. But with uh, Gladiator here, I mean, get a load of his rotation. You know, they're doing 3-4-5. I believe 5-3-4 uh, is a better rotation. But, you know, we'll try that out in another video. But, uh, yeah. And if you notice, guys, he procs on his Tier 3, at least according to this. And from the testing I've done, it does look like you would proc on the tier three right he does good damage honestly guys i tested him in stage 75 and he done decent damage like if he was really built up and leveled up the uniform was maxed out they're all at normal right now 
he might, I mean, I don't think he'd be able to do it on my account, uh, but he can do a lot of damn damage. He's actually quite strong, very, very easy to play, the same as Icon, which is awesome, right? And he does have that sweet, you know, uh, leadership, which is awesome, that applies to all allies. So, like, PvE-wise, this update looks, you know, pretty sick as far as, you know, these characters are concerned, right? But then you talk about Beta Ray Bill, who is... Like, Beta Guys is the strongest of them. Right now, at level 70, he is smoking the crap out of Gladiator uh, in World Boss. His his damage is nuts. Like, he's so strong. I can't wait for his potential to get leveled up. He's probably going to end up being a meta. Gladiator will probably end up being a, a meta also. But, wow. I mean, this dude is... He's strong, guys. Beta is crazy. Honestly, guys, like on my account, he can damn near do stage 75 at level 70. It's absolutely ridiculous how strong he is. You know what? Actually, let's just run through the scales. So you look at the three. Nice. The four. You'll see Thor come in, slam down, the lightning coming down from the air, and then he slams down. That is sick. And then the fifth skill. Yeah. The one complaint that I have really about beta is that you can't really cancel that awakened scale. You really just want to get the buffs from it to play him out, uh, which kind of sucks, man. He's really more of a rage character, which doesn't surprise me because it's going to be ABX. But he can play well, really well with a proc. He's actually quite nice uh, to play with a proc. I'm, I'm actually very happy with beta ray he is freaking strong as hell he's also a native tier 2 the same as gladiator so it can get a little expensive <laughs> leveling these uh characters up but you can pretty much assume that beta i mean as strong as he is so far from what i've seen he will probably be the universal hero i mean he is he's nuts guys he's really really freaking strong not oh now something that is awesome about this update well actually the things i just thought about was pretty awesome but this particular thing is sweet Wow, we actually have a tier 4 upgrade support system. That is insane. So I can literally pick any one of these characters and take them to tier 4. That is bonk old that you can do that. Now, there's going to be no native tier 2s on this list, but look at all these characters. I mean, you got Mystique, you got Loki, Thor, you have Luna, who's a meta, by the way. Uh, you have all these characters, man. Gamora. I mean, God, I'm not even... Like, it's just insane. So this is really, really awesome. And you can even save this thing for future Tier 3s. That is so sick. Like, me freaking likey. That is awesome. And on top of that, I don't even know if I'm using it, I might save mine. But on top of that, in ABX, they also did a little something something where you can actually turn off the striker support down there at the bottom. That is sick because a lot of times strikers cost you damage depending on the character that you're playing with. So the fact that they, you know, got rid of that to where you're just focusing on your character De uh, destroying the mobs and all that you with some characters you can actually do more damage without other characters on your team striking for you that is sick very very nice little quality of life change that they did and they also upgraded the rewards now if we go to regular abx and we take a look at the list here and we take a look at the rewards right uh 12 million points guys if you're able to get 12 million points you will be able to get some, you know, carbonadium or some, you know, all these materials for tier fours, which is cool, right? 12 million. And, you know, that's that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick, right? I mean, you're going to have to have a fairly developed account, but you could get uh, 12 million, right? But like right here, I got 10 million because I'm using these characters. I don't have Mystique leveled up. I have her uniform, but I don't have her leveled up. She honestly would probably get that 12 million. I'm not really sure. She probably could, but... You know, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm going to level her up because materials are really scarce and hard to come by. But whenever you take a look at ABL and you look at the list, obviously, if you're able to get, you know, 6 million points, you can get up to this, which is cool, right? But if you can do 12 million, you can get these tier 4 materials. Well, here's the problem with this, guys. 12 million in ABL, it just isn't going to happen for most players. There's no, there's no damn way they're going to get 12 million. Only if you have a whale account will you ever get that kind of score. I mean, maybe in the future when we get more characters that have maybe a little more power creep, maybe that would, you know, help that. But they just, 12 million in this game mode, I think there's maybe two, three characters that can actually do that on a good account. Even on my account, guys, even on my account, 
with my cards, right? Even with my account, with these cards right here, right? And you view card effects, like I got a lot of a buffs here. I mean, I got a lot of extra damage going on in my setup. And I'm telling you right now, I don't have any characters that can hit 12 million. None of them. Now, granted, I don't use Odin's Blessings and all that, which can also be another whale thing. You can farm for them, but I don't use all, the, all that stuff. So they've really made it to where if you really want all those extra rewards, you got to have insane cards with a lot of pierce, and you got to have you know Odin's Blessings and all this stuff on your character, especially at this point in the game. And, and there's, there's, it's... I like that they're given a decent reward, but man, 12 million, that is... That's pretty damn high, guys. It's pretty damn high because they reward the Alliance Tournament players for being number one. Now, obviously, those guys might be getting 12 million with, you know, three characters or so, but it's a tough road, guys. That's really, really tough. What I really would have liked to have seen in this update, and I talk about this almost in every update that we get, is that we need to get rid of the stupid RNG that is in this crap. We need to be able to change a stat if we want to to another color there needs they need to eliminate the rng in this because honestly getting insane cards is very 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 hard even for someone like me that spent an insane amount of money in this game especially in the past uh it's very very difficult guys like i mean for most players they're just not going to be able to queue that up it's going to be extremely difficult we also have the timeline survival which i'll be honest with you guys I don't give two craps about this game mode. It doesn't matter to me at all. Uh, for those of you that play it and have a good old time, that's great. And I like that you can use the same teams over and over and over. That's cool. I mean, that that's nice. But this game mode just, I don't know, man. I might play it a little bit, but I'm not all for, you know, timeline survival, the auto play. I'm just not really into it. And the thing is, guys, like, you know, when I look at characters like Gladiator and Beta Ray, right? I'm looking at my universal characters that I have at Tier 4, and I'm looking at my combat characters that I have at Tier 4, right? And whenever I take a look at that list, right, we go in all elements, and we'll go to Universal, and we'll go to Superhero, right? Now, Beta Ray would actually be an honestly really good for me, because I have no universal Tier 4s whatsoever, so he would be a godly character to tier four, right? And whenever I take a look at Gladiator, we'll go with Superhero again. I have Moon Knight, right? I got Moon Knight. Moon Knight can hit 12 million in ABX. He isn't doing an ABL, but I'll be honest with you, on my account, I don't think Gladiator's going to do it either. There's no way Gladiator's going to be twice as strong as Moon Knight. I just don't see it. Twice as strong? That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he is. We're going to have to wait and see, wait for the videos to come out. So, for me, Gladiator will probably sit on the sidelines. I already got Moon Knight Tier 4 uh, with Beta Ray Bill. It's a possibility, but I'm working on another character because I actually push World Boss content. World Boss is where it's at for me, especially in this game. And that's really what I tend to focus on. If I'm getting high enough scores in ABX and ABL, I don't really worry about getting that little bit of extra rewards because it's just not feasible on my account for the most part. Maybe in the future, a year down the road, a year and a half down the road, when we have stronger characters and everybody's getting 12 million, and then that marble decides to raise the cap once again, as they always do because they're really lazy when it comes to, you know, improving ABX and ABL. But all in all, this, this uh, update is actually... It's pretty sweet, guys. I mean, you can't complain about the Tier 4. The characters look awesome. They're very easy to play. Like, PvE-wise, not too shabby at all. So let me know what you all think about this update. And I do stream on Twitch and YouTube. The link to Twitch is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See everybody. Take care.